Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this video finds you in good shape. Okay, what this video is about is this Fitbit Versa right here, taking the data that this thing creates and, and putting your data all in one place, more or less, okay? And this is my Fitbit data. I have done a couple of review videos on it, but for right now, that's not real important. What I'm about ready to tell you is very, very simple. If you can just see this little card right here, quite simply, over on the left-hand side, you'll see Fitbit right there. You'll see the app slash web account data because you got to have a web account, you know, on these Fitbits, on these verses, on, well, on most of these on Fitbit devices. But you just simply go to the Apple Store and look up this guy called uh, uh Health Bit app. It's a sync app. Okay, and there's the address right there. HTTPS healthbitapp.word.press.com. I'll show you. Cost you one dollar to get this job done in just a few clicks in order to get your data ported over to iOS 10. In other words, Apple's health app. That's what I'm talking about here, okay? And you can Stop and pause this video. It's, this is really all I have to do is show you this. <laughs> okay? And, and shut up. Okay, but let me turn on my web browser real quick like this right here and show you. Okay, here is my account. I'm already logged in there. Don't laugh because I haven't done anything today except for came down here in my studio and just, you know, turn this on. Because this is the data that this will port over to... Apple's application called Health, okay? And I'll just show, show you that real quick. And and here, it, that website that I just quoted to you, here's what this little app called Health Bit looks like. And no, I don't work for the guy or anything like that. By the way, his name is right there at the bottom. It's Anthony... Didou, Didou, he's a French fella, and he did a real good job on this $1 app. And with this guy here, like I say, you're only just a few clicks away from taking your data off of the Fitbit app and, and, and putting it into Apple's Help app. And why do you want to do this? Well, quite simply, there's a number of reasons, if you will. Let me just kind of scroll down here and just... Uh, let me let me back out of here so you can see that URL a little bit better. But, you know, basically what this does is it gives you a secondary interface. Your data all in one place. You know, you 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 get a different sleep view if you use if you port your data into Apple's help app. You know, a, a different display and details and activity data gets recorded, mindfulness, nutrition, Sleep, body measurements, health records, heart data, reproductive health results, vitals, and your data all in one place. And so that's really all there is to it. I, I mean, it's just that simple. It's just a bam, just what this card shows you right here. Click, 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 and you're done. You, you, I mean, we're, we're only talking just a few clicks. You know, that health bit app is just really a... Uh, 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 an application that helps you sync your Fitbit with iOS 10, uh, which is Apple's health app. And my iPhone is approximately a little over two years old. It's an iPhone 6S Plus, and I am running on iOS 10.3.1. And I'm pretty sure this is good for iPads too. So that's all there is to it. For $1. You can take Fitbit's data and, and and port it into Apple's help app. Okay, that's really all I've got to say. Thank you very much for watching the video. See you on down the trail.